Hey there, my real estate agents. This is Scott coming at you with some really good tips. I have one amazing tip in today's market that you should be aware of when you're operating as an agent for a seller um, with multiple offers going on in the marketplace. And then I have another amazing tip for you when you're working with a buyer and competing against multiple offers. Stay with me. Okay, hey there, my real estate agents. This is Scott. So when you're working with a seller in a market like we have now, um, I have seen an uptick in something called an escalation clause. So you're operating as the agent for the seller and you get offers. And one of those offers has an additional document or additional terms that are referred to as escalation clause. And I have, you can't really see it, but I have a copy of one here. Um, but I want you to understand something very important because you're, you're the more advanced agent, you're the better agent. And I want you to understand um, the context to this clause. I'm gonna to try to keep it brief. I know your time is important, um, but what you'll find in most of these is that a buyer is saying they will make a higher offer than the other offers in a multiple offer situation. But the document also goes on and has a cap, usually a maximum amount up to a certain dollar amount. Now on the form, it has a place for a buyer and seller to sign. And unless a buyer and a seller both sign the document, it's not enforceable which means that if you look at what the maximum amount the buyer is willing to pay, and that's a number that the seller would accept, you literally can go back and say, you know, if you'll, if you'll um, accept this price, whatever that maximum amount is, we're willing to go into contract with you um, with the purchase. Um, as long as they don't sign this, they don't have to obligate to the $1,000 bump. And so let's say the, the offer is a $240 with a $1,000 bump, and then there's another offer, or, and they'll, they'll pay up to $250, and there's another offer for $245. Doesn't mean that the seller is obligated to accept $246. If it was $1,000 over another offer, they can literally go to $250,000. And, ex and negotiate that, but they must not sign the escalation cause because that would um, make them responsible to only go a thousand over the other offer. So that's an amazing tip. Um, I don't really like these documents. I don't really advise our agents to use them because you're really, you're, you're actually divulging the maximum amount the buyer's willing to pay. So that's my tip if you're operating um, as an agent for a seller. Now let's talk about an amazing tip if you're operating as an agent for a buyer. Um, so in the same market, um, you're, we're having a tough time helping our buyers get a property because what? There's multiple offers. Um, and I can tell you this works. So you're, you're a more advanced agent, you work harder for your client, but it's simply this. If you can see this document, um, I know the screen cuts it out, but what it is, is a letter, a compassionate, sentimental letter that's written by your buyers and presented with an offer to the seller and truly trying to speak into their emotions to say, you know, if you choose me to buy your home, I'm going to love your home. I've got a beautiful family that I'm gonna raise in your home and that makes a difference. And I've seen multiple times over and over this be successful at actually securing a contract even though another offer has essentially in a logical fashion has better terms for the seller. They'll take emotional driven opportunity over logic. Um, because they want, they love their home and they want somebody else to love their home. And this is a very effective way to position yourself, serving your buyers um, to get an opportunity to put a home under contract that they love and want 
and outcompete with other buyers seeking the same property. I hope you enjoyed these two amazing tips and actually put them into action. I thank you very much for watching my video. Make it a great day. Thank you.